When bad food choices lead you down a destructive path, your health is at risk. Today, you'll meet a doctor who combines scientific research with biblical teaching. Her simple plan will change your life. Right now on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Burness. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice. I'm Jonathan Burness, and I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Well, for a lot of people, myself included, trying to lose weight is a never-ending battle. We try all kinds of fad diets, uh, but the best diet in the world combines these two things, real food and your brain. Our guest today is a neuroscientist with a foolproof method of living healthy using biblical truths. Please welcome the author of Think and Eat Yourself Smart, Dr. Caroline Leaf. Great to have you back with us again, Dr. Leaf. Well, you, you have hit one of the most important topics, not just in America, but I think in the Western world, how we eat and the relationship between eating healthy and our mind. Yes. Uh, you combine the two. And uh, I, I'm working my way through this book. It's very, very detailed. But you, you start with a, a, a statement that really shocked me. And I actually had to put the book down and I just had to think about it because it, it hit me so hard. And that is that the trademark McDonald's yellow M is more recognizable today than the cross. And that, isn't I, that shocking? That just, that's shocking. It is shocking. It just shows you the impact of what does that actually represent, you know, the fast food lifestyle and eating all those, what I call, the, what's actually not called the modern American diet. And it's, the acronym is MAD, the MAD diet. And that's what I explain a lot about in the book and, and the impact of, of the whole modern American diet and what it does to us. You know, and, and what you said in introducing the show about that roller coaster, sort of losing weight, gaining weight, and all the different fad diets. You know, eating has be, is something that none of us can't do, not do. We have to all eat. Talk about the obesity statistics because they're shocking. Well, basically, there's about a, a, a billion people that are obese and overweight and obese, and there's two, two billion people starving. And for the first time in history, we have billion, millions of the billion people that are obese, that are actually obese and starving at the same time. Uh, did I hear that right? <laughs> You're telling us that there's people that are obese and, and starving, starving at, at the, the same, same time. time. People are eating food-like products, not real food. They're eating food-like products. And that M, the McDonald's M, represents that kind of concept of the fast food, food-like industrial manufactured food, not the real food that God gave us. The problem is that this isn't just a small amount of the, di of the American diet, the Western diet. We're talking about food-like products filling our grocery stores. Filling our grocery stores, 17,000 new ones a year, and not just the stores in America. It is one of the United States' most successful exports. It's global. The modern American diet is global. You can go to villages in, that have 300 people in the middle of Australia, and you will find one, super, one supermarket there, and it's filled with the mad diet and people that never had issues with weight and, and those the kind of chronic diseases that come with obesity are now in the middle of nowhere that lived off the land are now living off the supermarket and are getting all the diseases that we see happening in the Western world. In so the you're saying world. people even in developing nations can be overweight and starving at the at same the time? At the same time because the food, food like products aren't food. Real food gives our body nutrition food like products and what is a food like product that's something that's been manufactured there's nothing wrong with food the way God gave us what the problem is has what has man done to the food so when you start taking things and you start fiddling with like taking um, that, that the diversity of nature like for example we spoke we were chatting earlier on about how in 1904 there were 7,000 different varieties of apples now we have around about a thousand and not even all of those are available so in, in the supermarkets most supermarkets will have 10 maybe 10 so in other so words 10,000 to 7,000 varieties of apples natural varieties natural of apples varieties that were identified apples, yeah. But the, instead of that being expanded through science, that's actually been limited. It's been reduced. It's reduced been... intentionally by, by our food producers. Yes, so what's happened is once we had the industrial food revolution, literally, and food became a, a, like a factory 
product line, um, they took the diversity of nature, the diversity that keeps an ecosystem balanced, and they took that away and they became, and, and basically it's monoculture. So that's like one crop. So for example, if you think of the potato famine in the mid 18th century, they took all the different types of potatoes away. They grew one type, that one type got um, a, a, a disease and that was destroyed the potato crop. And basically people were starving. When you, as soon as you fiddle with that, you're gonna land up with major problems, which is what we're landing up with. Why have we fiddled with it? Why have we done there's, this? There's a lot of, the, the initial, the, the modern American, the birth of the modern American diet was back when, in the, in, in the time of the depression, good roots where there was actually a shortage of food after the, after the depression and so on. So it started off as let's, Let's, um, let's grow large crops so we can feed the nation. But then it carried on, and it went from what started off as a good idea, started started getting uh, growing bigger and bigger, and that's when the whole sort of um, GMO thing started. And so people started fiddling with food, and then food-like products were created. Convenience is another reason. People started working, both both uh, husbands and wives started working. Life got busier. So food was moved away from being processed in the kitchen, taking time as a family event to being a quick, convenient, jump in the car, eat on the go, um, so and it, things that will last on your shelf, because anything that's made in a factory will last, but real food doesn't last, like manna didn't last. Real food doesn't last. You mentioned GMO. What is GMO? What is non-GMO? Well, GM, G, GMO stands for genetically modified. Um, so that, that basically that that's the whole thinking behind that is genetic determinism. So you can fiddle with your genes. It's a reductionist approach, seeing us humans as like machine-like robots, and everything that is in the world is can be modified. You can fiddle with it. It's all parts. You can take a part out. You can put a part in. But what we don't understand, and, and a paper came out in 2015. A, that basically a, that globally we don't know about the safety of GMO products. They're not safe. We, we have to take a break, which is why I cut you off. When we come back, uh, I'm going to talk to Dr. Leaf about how to choose real foods and then how the mind connects with all this. Uh, we need to get healthier, and there's a way that uh, Dr. Leaf is going to help us to uh, understand. And later, an extraordinary story of unshakable faith despite relentless persecution. It's an inspirational story you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. Would you like to tap into the power God gave each of us to stop stress, end emotional eating, and make healthy choices you can stick with? Think and Eat Yourself Smart will show you how this revolutionary book by nutrition expert, Dr. Carolyn Leaf, combines scientific research and biblical teaching to help you. There's nothing wrong with food the way God gave us. What the problem is, is what has man done to the food? Dr. Leaf's advice is easy to follow and inexpensive. Learn how controlling your thoughts will bless every area of your life. Improve your physical, mental, and spiritual health. Order Think and Eat Yourself Smart today. And when you do, we'll sow a special seed into your life. Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, The Lord Your Healer by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Harness the power of Scripture to increase your health and happiness. Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures is a book that will change your life. Each scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including scriptures spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the scriptures in Hebrew yourself. We'll send you both of these life-changing resources when you donate $49 or more to Jewish Voice Ministries. So call now. When you do, you'll be taking an important step toward improving your life and helping our ministry improve the lives of Jews worldwide with crucial medical, dental, and eye care. When you support Jewish Voice Ministries, you help Jews like these lost tribes in Ethiopia and these Holocaust survivors in Israel. Forgotten Jewish people are finding hope and healing thanks to your donations. Most importantly, they are learning that their Messiah, Yeshua, has come. 
When you donate, you fulfill scripture by sending the gospel to Jewish communities around the world, from Argentina to the Ukraine to Africa. Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Your gift of any amount will bless the Jewish people. But when you donate $49 or more, you'll bless the Jewish people and you'll get these two important resources. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice Ministries. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. To receive your gifts, please specify offer 1352 when giving $49 or more. Don't wait. Call, click, or write today. Welcome back. My guest is Dr. Caroline Leaf, and she's got a new book out. It's a great book, and uh, I, I don't like to say books will change, this book will change your life. This book really will. It's called Think and Eat Yourself Smart. Talk about the title, why you chose this title, Think and Eat Yourself Smart. Well, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm a PhD communication pathologist and cognitive neuroscientist, which in simple language is I'm a mind expert. So you think, why is a mind expert writing about the food? Well, if you have a look at the research on food, your mind is, we've been talking in previous days and things about how your mind is separate from your brain and how your mind changes your brain and how your brain is the substrate through which your mind's got to work and your body is controlled by your mind. So whether you like it or not, you're on earth with a physical body. If you don't look after your brain, and you don't look after your body, those are going to suffer, which is going to have a negative feedback into your mind as well. So we can't live disintegrated. We, we spirit, soul, body, we have to be integrated. That's the first reason. So I teach a lot on, on an integrated. Um, I don't give a special diet. I don't give a special, I don't believe in that because I believe in eating real food and I believe in the principle of integrated spirit, soul, body. We can't be going to church, learning the word, getting our mind, supposedly renewing our mind, but then just eating any old thing because that's one part of the three that we're not looking after. So eventually that suffers. And then you, you can't think straight because your brain and your body aren't functioning like they should. So thinking the thinking side, what research has shown is that eating is a completely metacognitive event, which means that it is a thinking event. The way you thinking will determine your food choice, will determine your preparation of your body to actually be able to digest that food, to convert that food to nutrition that your body needs if it's real food. The other stuff doesn't give you nutrition. So you're, you're connecting how we eat to the way we think, in well, fact. Well, it dominates. It's not even connected that it's dominated by. Eating is a thinking event. So it's 80, it, it, the research shows, very similar to research to the, the numbers we gave earlier on in previous shows, but basically I talk about the 80-20 rule. So 80% of eating is in the mind, 20% is in the food. It's actually higher. I just rounded but, but off to that. If we eat depending on how we eat it will affect our thinking as well correct exactly because your if your brain is not working like it should because you've have you you've been living on a diet of the mad diet which is high fat sugar which is basically destroying the thinking pathway in your brain so here you've got literally your brain being eaten away and your body dying and you've got to try and think with this brain that's being eaten away and your body that's busy dying and carrying all this extra weight that is messing up your endocrine system and i mean there's just that's just one of three things of a million more things I can tell you that we're doing when we eat. Now, besides the fact that we're destroying our physical body and you feel awful, God tells us to honor the temple, to be stewards of the earth. You know, so if we are not honoring, um, looking after our brain and our body, we, and we're not looking after the earth, we're not, we're not honoring God. So it's a form of worship to actually honor God by saying, thank you for this brain and body. How should I eat? And God's given us everything that we need in nature. We don't need a fiddle. There's nothing wrong with food. There's everything wrong with what man has done to food. Right. That's a very important statement. Food is good. Yes. God said it's all for you to eat. Exactly. But what we've done with it That's the problem. has been idolatrous. Totally. In fact. Totally. And it's created changes in the brain that have affected things like the addiction pathways. So addiction is a good thing, which I also spoke about in the earlier program. We are designed to be addicted to God. We're designed to be addicted to love. So it's very interesting that if you look at the top seven forms of addiction, the modern American diet is like up there at number three. So in other words, the way that we are the way that we are thinking and eating is actually the way that we are eating is affecting how the brain is actually functioning. So our mind is always stronger than our body, but we're making our lives incredibly difficult by eating a bad diet. So if you have a toxic thought life, and if you have a lot of bitterness and unforgiveness, and you're just 
totally undisciplined in your thought life and you're eating the modern American diet, I mean, you really are creating a mess. It's amazing that we aren't all, you know, that we're all still walking around. But we're seeing manifest all over the place. We're seeing the issues in diseases, chronic diseases, diseases, crazy diseases that that we that never showed up. And our kids of as young as as six and seven, and sometimes even younger, are getting type two diabetes. I mean, this is like insane. Yeah, it's an epidemic again. Let, let me let me stay on the topic of thinking. Eighty percent of our eating is based on our thinking. Absolutely. So, I mean, I naturally think of the mark, the whole marketing, marketing aspect thing, yeah. uh, of food, and when you go into a grocery store, just how it's laid out to get you to grab the things that are probably the worst for you. But um, how, how do we begin to change the way we think? That, that's, you have to change the way you think to eat, to make the right food choices. Well, this is the thing because you're, you, it's a choice, and it's you. My people perish for lack of knowledge, as it says in Hosea. So we have to get knowledge. We have to get information, and that's why I've divided my book up into three sections, where I teach people in the first part, which is admit that there's a problem. You have to, with your mind, actually admit. How can you admit there's a problem if you don't know the problem? So I teach on the dysfunctional food system. I show how it's destroying the earth. If you have monoculture, which is abnormal from from diversity, you you're destroying the earth. The waste we have have we wasting, there's, there's so much waste, we could feed the starving with just what's wasted every year in, in around the world globally. Um, so that, that's so besides the fact that, so in other words, the, we, we have to, to change our mind, we have to admit and recognize that there's a problem. So there's a, a lot of willful blindness where people don't want, oh, well, you know what, don't be a fundamentalist about eating and whatever. We need to be, if we're gonna be honoring and stewarding this earth like God's called us to do, we need to be recognizing. So this is mind stuff. What I'm saying now is mind stuff. Why should you steward the earth? Why should you steward your body? Why should you honor the creation that God's given us? Well, that's a mind decision. You need knowledge. Okay, well, if if an animal is in a CAFO, which is a concentrated animal feeding operation, they are shoved in there, they stand in their own feces, their legs get broken, they on hormones and antibiotics because of being sick. They are hormones to fatten them up, antibiotics because they're sick and, and all, of, all that's going in their flesh. They get fed, not they get fed um, GMO corn. They get fed things that they're not supposed to eat. There's, they found candy wrappers and even they even eat each other. They, they, in other words, when they die, that, that the, the, the feces. Bacteria infection. The, I, well, the dead cows and the, whatever, the dead cattle, all of that. I mean, it goes into what, in their feed. It just gets put in. So they, and if, if they're choking, if the animal's choking, they basically shove a, a garden hose down their throat. And to, I mean, in other words, it's cruelty. Did God ask us to be cruel to animals and that lands up on your, you know, in your hamburger? You know, so we, we have to have knowledge. We need to stop closing our eyes. We need to start realizing what sugar is doing, how it's in everything. I understand, you know, the, these are the principles I teach. So admit teaches you those things. The second part of the book is quit it. In other words, this importance of the mind, this importance of getting your mind thinking correctly, understanding that the reason people are on roller coasters with their weight, um, it's just, this is just one of the reasons, is, is basically because they don't realize that their mind's involved. If you ask people, 90% of people will say, it's got nothing to do with mind. I don't exercise enough and I don't eat properly. Now those are two factors, but you can exercise all you want and you can eat properly, but if you don't have your mind right, it's not going to be sustainable. And what is eating properly? You really have to use your mind to understand what what real food is. You see, eating is actually really easy when you eat the way you're supposed to eat. Yeah, but you have to make a conscious decision. I'm not going to go for the convenience exactly. of driving through the McDonald's drive through right. anymore. And exactly. And things like, I mean, doing that, you don't digest your food properly. If you eat when you worked up, frustrated, angry, stressed, any of those kind of toxic emotions, I mean, there's a multiplicity of digestive things that should be happening that won't happen. So that food's not going to, it's, it's, it's going to go into your body, but it's going to go into fat in your body. I have so many more questions <laughs> to ask you, because uh, you go into great depth on real food and, and, and detail and the idea that there's not one right way of eating. We, we have to ha have you back to talk more about that tomorrow. So um, I really uh, want to invite you to come back again tomorrow. Uh, I'll be back with Dr. Leaf, and I encourage you to copy to get a copy of her new book, Think and Eat Yourself Smart. This book uh, is filled with information that can change your life. Literally, the way you eat will change your life, and this book gives you all the details of how to eat right, eat real food, and thinking. 80% of what you eat is affected by how you think, and this book covers it all. Hey, switching gears a bit, the persecution of the Jewish people goes back centuries, and it still exists to this very day. 
something we encountered firsthand on our latest trip to Ethiopia. The people in a small village called Tash Gaint are among the most persecuted people that we have ever met, yet they continue to overcome and they never lose hope. They're an amazing group of people. Take a look. Today we are standing on the mountain hilltop of Tashkent. Jewish people have been living here for nearly 3,000 years. And this scenery is like the dawn of creation. We met this community which identifies as Beta Israel. Because of the persecution they're experiencing, they can't live in downtown. They're here in farms on the outskirts of the district and we're listening to their stories. One woman has burning, has scars from, looks like third degree burns, from her neck down onto her arm because her house was burnt by locals just because she was Jewish. The reason these two are hugging is because this woman was instrumental in helping this man yes. become a believer. And he received great persecution after he became a believer. And they even told him that he had the evil eye. They call it the Buddha. It's been great to see what God's doing, the doors he's opening, and at the same time to see the great challenges of, of the evil one who has been opposing what we're doing. Although there's been pressure, sometimes persecution, uh, even isolation and discrimination, they are still praying the Lord. People are alive, they still have hope, they're joyful, they're content with the little they have, but they are persecuted. When we face these kind of challenges, it just proves to us that God is in charge. Would you like to tap into the power God gave each of us? to stop stress, end emotional eating, and make healthy choices you can stick with. Think and Eat Yourself Smart will show you how. This revolutionary book by nutrition expert, Dr. Carolyn Leaf, combines scientific research and biblical teaching to help you. There's nothing wrong with food the way God gave us. What the problem is, is what has man done to the food? Dr. Leaf's advice is easy to follow and inexpensive. Learn how controlling your thoughts will bless every area of your life. Improve your physical, mental, and spiritual health. Order Think and Eat Yourself Smart today. And when you do, we'll sow a special seed into your life. Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, The Lord Your Healer by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Harness the power of Scripture to increase your health and happiness. Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures is a book that will change your life. Each Scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including Scripture spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the Scriptures in Hebrew yourself.
We'll send you both of these life-changing resources when you donate $49 or more to Jewish Voice Ministries. So call now. When you do, you'll be taking an important step toward improving your life and helping our ministry improve the lives of Jews worldwide with crucial medical, dental, and eye care. When you support Jewish Voice Ministries, you help Jews like these lost tribes in Ethiopia and these Holocaust survivors in Israel. Forgotten Jewish people are finding hope and healing thanks to your donations. Most importantly, they are learning that their Messiah, Yeshua, has come. When you donate, you fulfill scripture by sending the gospel to Jewish communities around the world, from Argentina to the Ukraine to Africa. Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Your gift of any amount will bless the Jewish people. But when you donate $49 or more, you'll bless the Jewish people and you'll get these two important resources. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice Ministries. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. To receive your gifts, Please specify offer 1352 when giving $49 or more. Don't wait. Call, click, or write today. We really need your help, and I want to encourage you to partner with us. You'll change lives, transform lives, uh, lives of some people that are in absolute poverty, but in the midst of that poverty, they're finding joy through a relationship with God. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Before we leave, I want to remind you, as I always do, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122.6 says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. So if you want to prosper, pray for Jerusalem. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Bernus saying shalom and God bless you. It's time to change the way you think about food. Next time, meet a doctor who combines scientific research with biblical teaching to prove how your thoughts may be more powerful than any diet. Next time on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Burnus. Join Jewish Voice Ministries as we tour the Holy Land and celebrate Israel 2017. On this trip, you'll stay in five-star accommodations as we tour Mount Carmel, Nazareth, Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives, Upper Room, and more. See Jonathan Burnus commemorate the recapture of Jerusalem right where it happened. We'll also visit an Israeli military base and enjoy a Bedouin meal. You can renew your marriage vows on the Sea of Galilee and participate in an immersion ceremony at the Jordan River. As an added bonus, you can even visit Eilat, the Red Sea, and world-famous Petra. Act now before this once-in-a-lifetime event sells out. Call and speak with our events coordinator to learn more exciting details about Celebrate Israel 2017 or visit jvmi.org Israel.